Hello everyone. Welcome to Design Hub. In the previous video, we learned what operating and design pressure is. In this video, we will learn about maximum allowable working pressure and how to calculate it. Now, let us see what is maximum allowable working pressure. Maximum allowable working pressure is a designation of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers and specifies the rating of the pressure release component of a vessel. Industrial plants use the vessel's maximum allowable working pressure to set safety protocols by ensuring that the system does not exceed its safe operating pressures, which in turn prevents explosions. It measures the maximum pressure the vessel's weakest part can handle at a particular operating temperature. Additionally, each system meets all ASME safety standards. You can see the design data chart by ASME Section 8, Division 1. Maximum allowable working pressure also differs from design pressure, as the former characteristic changes throughout the vessel's lifetime. It can be greater than or equal to design pressure. The wear, use, and corrosion of carbon steel elements gradually weaken a vessel, lowering the vessel's MAWP. MAWPs are printed on the vessel so facility managers can match the parts to the right system. It is important to take the material of construction, vessel's age and wear into consideration. So to design the vessel, for the longest lifespan. Also, due to corrosion, wear and tear of the vessel, the maximum allowable working pressure does not remain the same. Now, let us see how the selection of maximum allowable working pressure is done. The first step is to have pressure vessel design data, so as to be able to calculate the shell, and head thickness. Then one should define corrosion allowance, and add calculated design thickness. Then add corrosion allowance and design thickness to get the total thickness. One must know what is corrosion allowance. The corrosion allowance describes, an additional measure added to the wall thickness. This makes it possible to estimate the expected metal loss over the life of certain equipment. Let us do one example for the calculation of the maximum allowable working pressure. The data is provided and we will convert every scalar quantity into inches. Now, we will start calculating the maximum allowable working pressure. For that, we need to find a total thickness. Just subtract the corrosion allowance, which is 0.125 inches from the nominal allowance, which is 1 inch. You will get a total thickness, equal to 0.875 inches. Now, according to UG27, if P is less than 0.385 SE, and T is less than, are divided by 2, then use the following formula of MAWP. You will get an explanation of each element of the equation. Where E is joint efficiency. T is total thickness. S is maximum allowable stress. And R is vessel radius. Put all the values in the equation, and calculate the maximum allowable working pressure. The value we will get is 173.5 pounds per square inch. Which is 23.5 pounds per square inch greater than the design pressure. We are getting a greater pressure due to the excess thickness of the plate. There's one thing to note, a vessel under a static head, leads to a change in design, and maximum allowable working pressure. That is all about maximum allowable working pressure. We will discuss hydro test pressure in the next video. Thanks for watching. Until then, learn and grow.